with the World Baseball Classic going on, I figured I would go over the four host stadiums involved with the Classic, two stadiums from the United States, one from Taiwan, and one from Japan to go over. And I'll tell you, this World Baseball Classic I don't, I don't remember the last time I've seen energy in baseball like this. I mean, this is crazy. I don't know if you guys have seen Shohei Otani has gained 1.5 million followers on Instagram since the World Baseball Classic started. I mean, baseball is going totally mainstream because of this Team USA kind of struggling a little bit, no pitching, uh, but I just kind of want to go over the four stadiums, starting with the two U.S. stadiums, and then I'll rank all four of them at the end. So first, we've got what was previously known as Marlins Park. Sucks that they changed the name. I love when they keep the name, you know, organic and things like that, but they did change the name to Lone Depot Park, which is very ugly. Overall, Marlins Park, there's some fun facts about it. It's it's a very unique stadium in the MLB. It's what's known as futuristic modern. It's got an amazing exterior. It's one of the newer ballparks in the MLB. It is a retractable roof, but the catch is because it's located in Florida, they get crazy rainstorms out of nowhere, the humidity... The roof is barely ever open, and I don't think I've seen it open yet for any of the World Baseball Classic games. Also, they've had major attendance issues in Miami. It's caused them to actually close their entire upper deck. The Tampa Bay Rays do this as well, to where they'll close their whole upper deck. It was crazy. I was watching a game this morning, and it was a noon start time on a Monday in March. And almost the entire stadium was filled. Now, as for this stadium overall, they have moved the walls in a little bit because it was an aggressive pitcher's park. It still is a pitcher's park, I would say for sure. And the overall design, smaller capacity. It was always made like that. There's not a crazy crowd in Miami, especially for baseball, especially when there's so many home games, 81 home games, you know, Miami, there's not a big rush to go see the Marlins. It also doesn't help that the Marlins haven't been good. Kind of a unique thing is the big window, although it's kind of sad that the, all those massive poles are in the way of those windows. I guess they had to do it for support, but it would have been cool if you could have, you know, taken those poles out and you just have a wide open window that you could open and look out into, uh, you know, the area and the city. You know, overall, I think people are kind of indifferent on this stadium. But in terms of the, you know, the baseball classic, when you compare it to other stadiums, it definitely, I would say, is the cream of the crop and, and by far the best because it is the newest and it did cost the most by far. So that is Marlins Park right there. Next, we're going to be taking a look at Chase Field home of the Arizona Diamondbacks. So Chase Field, a lot of people don't know this. It was in the news recently. They're trying to renovate Chase Field. And you may say it's it's semi-new. You know, it, it, it was opened in right around the year 2000. Why would they be renovating it? Well, I mean, the upper deck is a total eyesore. It, it's just a massive wall of seats. Something like that would never be built in you know, today's world. It reminded me of a video I did where I did a video of like the most obsolete NFL stadiums. This is what I would, I would consider this like an obsolete MLB stadium. Like this would never be built. It is also a retractable roof, but the retractable roof is virtually always closed. Very similar to Miami. This is Arizona in the summer. They're not going to have that thing open when it's 90 degrees out, when it's 85 degrees out. Would you rather have 72 and perfect, you know, weather if you close it versus 87 degrees? Obviously, they're going to always close it. Overall, this is a stadium in terms of outfield seating, very small. And I just hate the design of the massive center field scoreboard to where it's almost like it's like a straight vertical up. I just don't like that design at all. I think it looks so tacky. Like, you know when they hit home runs and it hits the scoreboard and it comes down? It's the same thing that happens with the Milwaukee Brewers. I just don't like that. I don't know why. But it does have something very unique and cool about it. It does have a pool. 
you know, in the outfield seats there in right field, little exclusive area. And it also has a nice little hot tub as well. So that is uh, something unique and probably the coolest feature of it. Also has windows that open up, but I believe they've been covered by advertisement space, which sucks because those windows, oh no, it, they do open up. I'll tell you what, they're barely ever open. I'm guessing they only open those in April and September when it's really mild. But Chase Field is kind of like a worse version of Marlins Park or Lone Depot Park, whatever it's called, to where it's a retractable roof. There's really nothing special about it, but it still is an MLB legitimate facility. We'll see if they can get some upgrades on it. It certainly isn't the worst thing in the world. I would rank it a clear number two when we're talking about the World Baseball Classic venues, Chase Field. The main problem with it is kind of the outfield seating is very sparse, which gives it a lack of overall, I would say, atmosphere. And then the upper deck, it's just massive. It's just a wall of seats, and that is never a good thing. And that's really one of the things architects are trying to scale away from this day and age. Next, we're going to be looking at the Tokyo Dome in Japan. And you can take a look at the roof. It reminds me of one thing, the Minnesota Vikings Metrodome, which was demolished in 2014. So in terms of this, I would say just looking at it, it looks like a worse version of Tropicana Field. That, to me, that's what it looks like, the Tokyo Dome. There was rumors they were going to renovate it a few years ago, and there's a there's like a photo of a renovation. It Honestly, this thing is just completely outdated, but it is a different country, so you do have to take that into account, too. They just built an unbelievable stadium in Japan, I believe, by the way. I did a video on it. It is crazy. It is the first, like, true MLB-looking ballpark there. I wonder why... They didn't have the World Baseball Classic there. That would have been crazy if they would have done that. But it is at the Tokyo Dome. We've seen Shohei Otani play here over the past week. And you can see the upper deck configuration very similar to the Trop. And also, if you guys know, Kauffman Stadium. That kind of rounded upper deck. Very similar to that. Overall, again, it looks like the Metro Dome, the roof is extremely outdated. Something like this would, I would think, would never be built anywhere in terms of that balloon type blow up roof. The overall capacity on it, it, it does have, it does seat a lot of people, surprisingly. It's got a capacity of roughly 45,000, and it was opened all the way back in 1988, the Tokyo Dome. So. Um, you know, when it comes to this, I do remember the MLB hosting a few J Japanese series or Japan series to start the season. Ichiro, maybe back in like 2019 and 2012, I think they did it twice at the Tokyo Dome, but it is outdated and there's really nothing unique about it. Just looking at the way the outfield is configured, very, very bland overall. Uh, that is the Tokyo Dome there. Again, they it's crazy. They just built a new stadium in Japan. It looks amazing. But the World Baseball Classic is being held there. And then the final one, it is the Ch Tai Chang Intercontinental Baseball Stadium located in Taiwan City or a, a district within Taiwan. And it's just so sad how... The MLB and, and Fox, no one is allowed to say Taiwan to appease China. Have you guys seen that? That's just so ridiculous. But overall, looking at this uh, stadium, I would say it's kind of like a hybrid. It's better than a minor league stadium because it seats 25K, but it's clearly... Uh, worse than an MLB facility or even the Tokyo Dome at that. Kind of a weird configuration with those arches. I originally thought those ar red arches or whatever they are, they were in place, I mean, maybe to serve as some type of retractable roof or cover, but looking up photos, I'm, I'm not sure what those things are for. I tried finding the purpose of those things and, and nothing really came up, but looking at the stadium overall, it looks like, a, again, a slightly better minor league park. There's really not much to it. I will say, people were saying one of the things about this stadium 
apparently it's really hard to hit home runs at. And that's one of the things they were saying when the World Baseball Classic games were happening. So overall, there's really not a lot to it other than some weird kind of, you know, red arches that go over top of it. And it, it, it does have two decks, albeit the second deck is very, very small and does not fully wrap around the entire stadium right there. So that is located in Taiwan, and that is the fourth place that is hosting games. It also does have, you can see, kind of a, a, a nice outfield seating area, but it is still kind of like a hybrid in between. There's no way this could be an MLB ballpark, but it's also too big to be a minor league stadium. Uh, or maybe it could be a minor league stadium. There are some nice minor league stadiums in the MLB. So either way, how I would rank them, I would rank... Uh, Taiwan Stadium at number four. I would rank the Tokyo Dome at number three. I would rank Chase Field at number two. And then Lone Depot Park, the Miami Marlins home, would be number one in terms of the hosting sites. You know, you got to wonder with how crazy the World Baseball Classic has been, the views, especially, you know, in, in other countries are, are out of control. You got to think they would maybe host it at some nicer places, you know, I guess it does have to be in warm weather, so that eliminates a lot of places in the U.S., but maybe a different stadium in Texas, you know, the Rangers' new ballpark, something like that, the new stadium that just went up in Japan. We might see that in the next one that takes place, I believe, in three years because they had to cancel it, and they're like a year behind or what? Or the, yeah, I think they're a year behind, so the next one's in 2026. Uh, but either way, that is just the four host stadiums for the World Baseball Classic. Guys, that's going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description.